Hi, I'm Jeremy Ferguson, aka Cool Zero Guy Zero Jesser Zero, and today I'm going to be showing you the bedroom cube and how to complete it. As you may have worked out by now, I'm interested in all these sorts of puzzles. I did a Rubik's Cube a little while ago. Actually, I'm still editing that at the moment, so it might not be on while you're watching this, but hopefully it'll be on soon. Um, and I'm just going to take you on step by step on how to complete this. So we have to start. Good luck. Right, okay, well, I'm going to show you each step as to what ones you're going to need. Um, generally, different sets have different colours, so you can get sets which are all silver or gold, um, and some of these get mangled up, like you might get this, which one being red in another set. Um, now the first piece we're going to use is this piece. It's on one side looks like an L. It's a 3D L sort of shape. And it's going to go in this corner like so. Gosh. It's going to go in like that. I'm going to get a simple piece out. I've got a red one, and my set may be yellow on your set, or silver on the other side. It's quite similar, but uh, a bit different. And it's going to go in the opposite corner. Like so. And the next, you should even say you should have three flat pieces. On these should look like this. And this and there's a couple of ways this could fit in. Uh, the way we're going to fit in is like so. So that at the moment it should look on this side like that. So I'll, I'll keep it like that for a minute. Okay, the next piece we're going to need is this one. And this is going to go in, it's a bit difficult, bear in mind I'm working upside down here, so, in there, like so. So it's overlapping this one slightly, but um, it's not completely. Um, next we're going to use this piece here, it's sort of like a T, it has a sticky out bit on one side. And this is going to uh, go there, like so. So it's also overlapping the yellow piece slightly. Uh, we're going to use what in my set is another red piece now, like this. Uh, it's, one, it's one of the more complex pieces, uh, which is quite difficult to describe. Um, and this is going to go in there, like so. So now it should look like this from this side, or like this. So. Okay. Right then. The next piece we're going to use is this one. And this is going to fit in like so, like that. Um, what can we do next? Now we can use this piece here. And this is going to overlap two pieces. We're going to have to overlap that one and that one. So now it's going to look like this. Now slot this piece here, which looks like this, into here, like 
so followed by this piece it's very cornery and it's going to go into a corner there the rest isn't is quite obvious now but slot this piece in there so it should look like this now pretty full And you should be now down to your last two pieces, two pieces, which are this one and this one. And as you may be able to see, I guess this piece is going to go in there. Yeah, and this there piece we go. Is going here. Yeah. I'm Jeremy Ferguson, aka Cool Zero Guy Zero Desert, and that was how to complete the, the Bedlam Cube. Thank you, and good night.